This video provides a brief tutorial on installing SMED and creating your first project. You can download the latest build for your target platform from the Simeon Mind website at simeonmind.com SMED. When the download completes, run the installer. And follow the installation wizard. Finally, click Finish to launch SMED. The SMED application is divided into four areas by default. They are the menu and toolbar at the top, projects and explorer windows to the left, palette and properties windows to the right, and a space for editor windows in the center. You can rearrange the windows as you like, and SMED will remember your preferences for future sessions. If you wish to restore the default arrangement, just go to the Windows menu and select Reset Windows. To create a new project, click on the New Project tool in the toolbar, or select File New Project from the menu bar. The New Project wizard appears. Select the SMED project template if it's not already selected, and click Next. Provide a name for your project and the project's location. I'll stick with the default. Then click Finish. The new project is created on disk and is automatically opened. The project's window shows the opened project and its contents. Default folders for maps, entities, and models are created. You can use these to organize your project, or you can create any folders you like. Note that the Images folder is a logical folder which doesn't exist on disk. It contains links to image resources, which I'll add in the next tutorial. SMED creates links to images rather than copying images to the project. And that's it for installation and project creation. The next steps involve creating content. In the next tutorial, I'll create links to image resources and configure project properties.